this video, we will go over how to UV unwrap three assets that will be using a trim sheet texture. This is a continuation of our trim sheet series, which you can find on our YouTube channel. We will go over on how to UV unwrap this particular large scale window asset over here from this sci fi environment. We will not be using the same trim sheet texture that we have created in our previous videos. Instead, we will be using a slightly more complicated trim sheet texture to get the most out of our model. We have various details on this trim sheet. We have details which are tileable on a horizontal axis like you can see with this flat metal over here and this trim sheet over here. We also have some of them down here which you can see with the lines and we also have some more specific details that have specific edges and edge damages which you can use for example over here to create these type of section details. Now next to this we also have some more specific perfectly square details which are tileable on a vertical axis as you can see over here. And these details we can use to later on place down here and repeat them over and over again along this bottom section. Next to this we also just have like some more additional details like some floor panels which you can see over here. And down here some more additional floor panels and some specific decals. These decals actually also have a mask like you can see over here, which allows us to basically cut out any of the background and use them as simple text which we can place on our trim sheet. This entire environment that you see over here has actually been created using this one single trim sheet texture, just like we did in the previous videos. Down here we also have one small section which features a unique texture, because in trim sheets you can just also place a unique texture. However, this one we will not be using as it will just be used for these crates. In this video we will be focusing only on this window asset over here. For this tutorial, we will be using 3ds Max to showcase you how to UV unwrap this asset. However, these techniques can easily be replicated in your favorite 3D software. Also, we are going to save a lot of time by mirroring our asset. So I can select half of it and delete it. And later on I can mirror this in order to basically save half of our time. Now we are going to get started by an introduction with some smaller details like we have over here. These are the details that you can see down here, which are located in our UV unwrap on the left bottom side here. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to apply our trim sheet texture to this asset so that we can properly preview it. Now as you can see, this plane over here, it is a very simple plane and it has been specifically split up into square sections over here. The reason we did this is so that we can make these sections properly tileable just like you can see in our squares over here. We want to go ahead and we want to open up our UVW unweb window so that we can get started. So the first thing in our window that we want to do, and you can do this in whatever software you want, is you want to go ahead and load in your trim sheet texture so that you can properly preview it. Now let's get started with the simple one which is going to be this square. We want to go ahead and lay out this square over here, and then we can decide which specific detail from these two that we want to use. I myself will go ahead and use the one that has a little bit more visual interest. So all I have to do is I have to go ahead and go in here and I can nicely map it to this specific detail. Because these squares have been created to be an even 512 by 512 texture, what we can do is we can go ahead and we can snap the grids inside of 3ds Max. In this case I would just want to go ahead and show my grid and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and turn on snap toggle. Then I will switch to vertice. And now it is as easy as simply snapping this to my grid vertices over here. This way I can be assured that it will be perfectly tileable. I can then move on to the next one. Iron it. Scale it down. And once again overlay it. What I like to do is I like to have it a little bit more in the center over here. So that I can then more easily select my vertices and snap this to the grid. Doing that what you can see is that now if I for example turn off my edges and faces, we will have a perfect continuation. You might see over here like a little line, but this line will not show up in Unreal Engine since this is just a visual bug from 3ds Max. 
Now let's go ahead and go back into our UV and let's focus on this little end over here. Sometimes you will have sections that will not properly fit. In these sections you can just take some creative liberty. So let's go ahead and UV unwrap this one shell over here. And I do want to still make it tileable on one side, let's say down here. In this case I'd like to fit my UV shell a little bit better to make it a little bit easier to work with. And then what I can do is I can once again just go ahead and select the vertices and snap them to the grid over here. Now for these sides what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide roughly where I want to basically end this piece. If I just go ahead and push this back over here, you can see that we will get a little bit of stretching. Now a little bit of stretching is not the end of the world. This is something that can be quite easily compensated. However, I feel like that this one might be a little bit much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this back a little bit more like this over here. And then I'm just going to actually edit my geometry. But basically going in here and moving these last two sections a little bit more towards the right side over here. And this is a concept that I want you to understand when we are talking about trim sheets. With trim sheets you cannot always keep the same texture density and you cannot always keep everything at the exact perfect proportions. So you will have to be a little bit more flexible with it. But in turn you get great optimization and often even a faster asset creation process. Now I will go ahead and I will map these details over here only on these straight details. On this angular detail over here, we will just go ahead and use some plain metal since we cannot properly map a detail like this on a shape like we have over here. I'm now going to show you how to apply your trim sheet on a very large structural asset like this window over here. Now believe it or not, but this entire window is actually using only this small metal section over here. The key goal for this is that your the key goal for this is that your texture is tileable on both sides so that we can repeat our shapes over and over again. And thanks to that we can actually map around this entire window using only this small section. So if we go ahead and go to 3ds Max again and we will apply our trim sheet texture. Now as you can see this will look very bad right now. Please know that with this technique you simply cannot maintain texture density. So what you need to do is you need to find the right balance where you do not notice the difference in resolution while still having everything look at like a proper resolution. As you might notice, you can see that our metal over here, it is a long thin section. Now if we look at our model, you can see that our model has also been split up into these long thin sections. So what we can do is we can simply unwrap all of these sections individually and like that we can map them onto our metal texture. Let's start over here at the top. Let's load up our UV unwrap. Select our trim sheet. Just to make things organized I'm going to temporarily move all of this away. And let's say that we want to go ahead and start by UV unwrapping just this top section. You can select your section. Press iron in this case. And then I also always like to relax it a bit. And then move it to our trim sheet over here. Now at this point what I like to do is I like to set it, this into the corner as much as possible. So that it is just touching the top. So that I can get the most of my resolution out of this. And I will make the window a bit bigger for you guys. And then I hold control and I evenly scale it all the way down. Or up in this case. Like you can see over here. I need to scale it a little bit further back over here. And every 3D software does also have a function where you can show the tiling of your mesh to make it easier to preview. Now you can see that instantly our texture over here has been applied. Luckily because this texture is so generic we can even just select the second section. And that is the key goal to also keep these textures very generic with very little specific details. So that when we go ahead and place another one over here, the seam that will be created whenever we repeat this will be barely visible. So we are going to nicely go ahead and go up here and scale it up again. And if I would go ahead and collapse this and then have a quick look up close. Once again these seams are a visual bug but you can see that your seam is barely visible over here. Which is great because inside of Unreal Engine 
it will be even less visible because it is so far away. Make sure to UV unwrap your assets based upon the context in your scene. If it is very close to the camera, you want to be a little bit more precise with your UV unwrap, but if it is very far away from the camera, like over here, you can easily be a little bit more relaxed with the rules. Now let's go ahead and kick in a quick time lapse where I will show you how to UV unwrap this really large section over here. I want to finish things off by showing you some additional techniques that you will often come across when UV unwrapping with trim sheets. The first one is that sometimes, instead of deforming your trim sheet to your mesh, you actually want to deform your mesh to your trim sheet. So let's go ahead and say that we have this plane. I want to go ahead and I want to UV unwrap this plane like normal by selecting it, UV unwrapping it, and in this case I already have some pre-made details that I placed inside of my trim sheet over here. So I can go ahead and map this from let's say this point over here. And then I want to just nicely scale this down a little bit. Up until this and maybe like manipulate the scaling a little bit until it fits. Now once you've done this you can just simply edit your geometry in order to make this fit a little bit better. I do this by simply adding some additional loops wherever I have placed my edges. And luckily for me, I'm able to see these edges thanks to the edge damage that I placed. And then I select the faces that I want to edit, for example these two over here. Push them back, like this. And then maybe what you can also do is you can also go ahead and give it a few little bevels just to add some weighted normals. Over here. And there we go. So now, if I go ahead and turn off my edges and faces, I now instantly have created this interesting looking detail. The second one that I want to show you is that I have this really thin edge over here. If we go ahead and open up our UV and go into our trim, you can see that this edge has been mapped to this very small thin detail that I have placed in my trim sheet. I like to call these construction lines. You can see that these construction lines are placed all over this mesh over here. And they will simply add some additional visual interest to our mesh. Because in real life you would rarely have such a large metal structure that is made out of one solid piece of metal. Often it is made out of panels and that is what these construction lines are here for. To make it seem like this large mesh has been made out of panels without actually having any type of unique textures. Next to this you can also place decals in your trim sheet like we have done over here. And that is as simple as then going into your 3D modeling software, creating a simple plane, wherever you want, like let's say over here, and placing the plane just in front of your mesh. At this point, you can UV unwrap the plane by going ahead and opening up your UV unwrap tool, showcasing your trim sheet as always, unwrapping it, and then mapping it on whatever text or other decal that you might have created like this. And I can of course go ahead and now fit everything a little bit better just to make this a little bit nicer. Once you do this and you go into a wheel as long as you have an alpha that cuts out these decals and you apply this to your material, you can instantly place these decals all over your mesh to add some additional details to this. And finally, this might be a little bit more Unreal specific, but what I did is I layered a grunge map on top of my details over here to just give some additional variation to my texture going from clean to something that looks a little bit more dirty. 
This is one additional Gunchmap texture that will not take up a lot of memory in your scene. Uh, so it is a great way to just like add that extra bit of detail. However, I would say that Clean still works very well for this asset also. That was about it for this small tutorial video. I hope it was useful and I hope to see you next time.